I will try to give a short introduction about what is astrobiology. Uh, you're coming from different horizons, some are already in PhD, and some are in laboratories where you hear about astrobiology every day and for others it's not, uh, it's not the case. So as, um, as Muriel told, it's the tenth year we are, uh, we are making uh, this, uh, this school. Behind the word astrobiology there are a lot of meanings, so I will try to, to give you a brief uh, overview of, uh, of uh what it is. So, yes, sometimes you hear about astrobiology, sometimes, especially in France, uh, you hear about exobiology. Uh, you can find exobiology also in English, cosmobiology, bioastronomy, the same word. Roughly, you, if you get into details, you will always find someone saying this is different, there are some differences, but no one would exactly agree on the small differences between the 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 formulation so can say that it's the same if you hear someone uh, talking about exobiology bioastronomy astrobiology you can consider it's it's the same sometimes in different countries it has uh, different meanings so I found this um, this definition uh, yes in English uh, and so <coughs> astrobiology if you take the word it's astro so it's linked to astronomy, biology, so you could think it's a, it's a biology uh, of the stars, of uh, biology beyond Earth. And yes, some, somehow it's true, but not entirely. Of course, astrobiology is a search for life beyond Earth. But to have a reasoning approach, um, a good approach of this uh, of this subject, the first question you have to, to ask yourself is how it started on Earth. So if you think about how it started on Earth, uh, when, how, uh, what was the environment of the primitive Earth, what was its particularity, uh, its genericity beyond the, uh, uh, in, in the solar system, uh, then you can start to have a scenario and, uh, and well, build your uh, reasoning on something that is uh, that relies on observations or on and theory you can uh, you can test, and then, basing on what happened on Earth, what you think has happened on Earth, you can okay say okay it's relevant for that 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 reason to look for life on Mars. It can be relevant to look for life in a near or distant future in the ocean uh, of uh, the um, Jovian moons. <coughs> but it's always built on what you think happened on, uh, on the Earth. So astrobiology is the study of the origin, <coughs> evolution, distribution, uh, and future, sometimes you, you hear, and future uh, of life in the universe. And bas it's based on, uh, on what you think happened on on Earth. So it's really interdisciplinary and uh, y yesterday we, we already heard that some of you are chemists, some of you are biologists, some of you are astronomers, uh, some of you are geologists. It's really an interdisciplinary field and one difficulty in interdisciplinary field is that you have to understand each other. So because if you've been trained in geology, uh, you sometimes you don't have the uh, the tools to understand what is doing a chemist and the other way it's, uh, it's, it's the same. And um, uh, what we are doing in the school is to try to give you the basics of each discipline uh, by specialists of each discipline and we try to have those, uh, those lecturers to start from the, well not from the beginning, <laughs> but at least to give you the, the tools to understand the top research they are doing right now and uh, to help you understand each other and start to build this uh, uh, interdisciplinary uh, culture uh, that is extremely important for, for astrobiology. So we, we always say there is no astrobiologist, astro there is astrobiology. But first, you have to be a good chemist, a good biologist, a good, ge good geologist, a good astronomer first. 
and understand what are doing the other, and then you are doing astrobiology. But you're not meant to be astrobiologist. It, it's not. Uh, it's not relevant. So, the word exobiology <coughs> uh, has been um, proposed by uh, Joshua Lederberg uh, a while ago. <coughs> it was in 1960, and the context of his uh, on the first paper uh, published uh, in Science uh, with. Uh, the, the word exobiology uh, was um, to prepare the exploration of the moon. And, um, and Joshua Led Lederberg thought that it was important to figure out if there could be life on the moon uh, for the <coughs> protection of the astronomers and for the protection of the Earth when the astronomers would go back, uh, back to Earth. And um, and you, you can find on, on the web uh, the PDF of this uh, uh, comic uh, series uh, that has been published by, um, by NASA a few, uh, a few years ago called Astrobiology. <coughs> and you see the world uh, first, I, I mean, 20 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, it was only exobiology. Nobody was uh, wondering about the, 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 wor the wording. But in, um, in 1996, NASA started a new program. and. Uh, propose this new uh, this new name but even nasa says if you see at the at the first page that astrobiology exobiology it's roughly it's roughly uh, it's roughly the same and it began with uh, with lederberg going to uh, the uh, one of the nasa d d directors at that time and say uh, okay i think that uh, uh, there is a need to prevent extraterrestrial contamination on earth in our endeavor to reach space so <laughs> the search for native life on the moons and planets of the solar system must be a priority. And as you know, when you make a research proposal, you go to the director of, uh, of your uh, top insti national institution and you say, OK, yes, I see. And I give you a lot of money and, <laughs> and you, start, you start working. But it's not, of course, it's not that, uh, that, that easy. But the, the cartoon, uh, I, I can send you the link, uh, is... Uh, is uh, is uh, is really nice. Uh, Lederberg got the, the Nobel Prize of uh, Physiology um, 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 in uh, 1998, but still is he worked in uh, in the field of uh, exobiology, and a lot of famous people, uh, Urias, Carl Sagan, uh, join him, and they they start to build uh, to build this field. Just to <coughs> I'm just about to to finish, but here it's. Um it's a it's a view of uh, how the words have been used in the literature. So it's uh, it's based on a Google Ngram viewer. So a while ago, uh, Google started to scan all the books all around the world. You certainly heard about about that. People were against. People were uh, uh, were for were supporting that. That's not uh, that's not the issue here. But uh, they released a tool where you could check the words, the use of the words, and the percentage those words were present in, um, in, uh, in books. And you can see that uh, you, uh, you see, let's compare astrobiology and exobiology uh, first. Y you see that, well, you could find astrobiology, exobiology uh, in the last um, 50s, in the late 50s. And then well, exobiology start to be quite dominant. Uh, Astrobiology, cosmobiology, bioastronomy were not used that much. And then in, actually it's 1996, when NASA started the new uh, uh, astrobiology program, you see that, yes, astrobiology is, uh, is, um, is becoming the dominant world and exobiology is quite, is quite stable. But you, uh, well, we could spend hours talking about which are the correct wording. And in French, it's not exactly the same. Exobiology is still uh, is still uh, important. So you will hear uh, during this week. Uh, you will hear about um, the the stars, the formation of planets, uh, the formation of the Earth, how the primitive Earth was uh, 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 was interstellar chemistry, prebiotic chemistry, uh, the look of the first uh, traces of life uh, on uh, on Earth the diversity of life on earth and uh, at the end um, at the end of the week we will proceed uh, beyond earth in the solar si in the solar system the solar system ex exploration and uh, the uh, detection and how we can characterize exo exoplanets so that's
quite broad. I hope you will uh, you will enjoy the, um, the 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 classes. So some will be extremely familiar to you, and some will be discovery. Uh, I hope so. You 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 will learn uh, you will learn uh, a lot. And um, well, for the French um, for the French uh, speaking uh, people. You can find a lot of uh, information on this uh, website of the Société Française uh, d'Exobiologie. Uh, there is also a Twitter, a Twitter account uh, where we can uh, um find information. And sometimes you will see me on my uh, cell phone, but it's actually because I'm live tweeting some of the, uh, some of the, of the classes. <coughs> there is a Facebook uh, web page. And uh, now you are here, if you are in this room, you are allowed to, uh, if you are using Facebook, uh, you can um, uh, ask authorization to be part of this group on, on Facebook. And it's, uh, so you go on Facebook, uh, you, you, you type uh, Rencontre Exobiologique pour Doctorant. And uh, then uh, it's a private group, <coughs> but I will give you the authorization to, to access. And it's a, well, it's a memory of the school after, uh, after uh, 10 years, we have uh, here it's uh, 50 members, but now we are about at uh, 100. Um, and uh, so feel free when you register to say what you are doing, uh, wh what is your PhD subject or research subject. And, and I've seen that recently uh, uh, one former student preparing the aggregation, so it's uh, also good for the aggregation, the, the student was no teaching and she was looking for someone to make a, a seminar a presentation in a, in a in her class and she asked on the on the group and someone uh, not necessarily from the same year of the school say okay yes i'm in the same area in france and i will be happy to to show up so it's extremely useful you can also share information about seminar and anything once you're granted access there you uh, you can post um, anything uh, you like in French or in English, whatever it's uh, it's working. Okay, so I think I'm done uh, for this uh, for this brief uh, introduction. We will have a lot of time to to discuss uh, during the the whole week.